Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Minecraft modding environment for 1.12. Now, I actually had a ton of you guys come to me and, you know, ask, you know, Crayfish, can you show me how to actually set up a modding environment? Because I want to get into modding. Well, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys that. I also feel like there's no updated tutorials out there as well. There is like one showing the process that I'm doing today, but they're kind of outdated. Um, and for a different version of Minecraft. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a modding environment for 1.12. So let's go ahead, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is to download Java JDK. Now if you don't know what that is, it's basically a Java development kit. Um, if you've already done, you know, Java programming, you most likely already have this. Um, if so, you can go ahead and skip this, but if you don't have it, um, you need to go ahead and download it and install it. Now you'll find in the description below all the links used in this tutorial today. So if you actually go ahead and click on the first one, it will take you to this download page here. Simply just scroll down uh, and come to this point where it says, you know, uh, Java Development Kit 8, Update 151 or whatever the latest one is here. Um, doesn't really matter too much as long as it's um, JDK 8. Um, that's kind of important. Uh, then go ahead, click on accept license agreement and then download the version for your operating system. Now this tutorial is um, on Windows 10. Uh, if you are on Mac or Linux, it might be a little bit different and uh, hopefully I'll mention uh, in this tutorial today what might be a little bit different because there is one step in this um, that you don't have to do on Mac and I'll mention that when we actually get to that point. But let's go ahead and I'm going to download this. Now I'm actually going to update my Java. So I'm going to go ahead and download this right now. So once it's downloaded, go open it up and you should come up with something like this. Um, just go ahead, press next, uh, press next again. It should, like, it's pretty much straightforward installation. Um, there's no, you know, extra software that gets installed with Java. It's literally just installing Java, no bloatware type stuff. Um, so don't worry about that. You can just go ahead and press next. Uh, obviously, you can, you know, check the custom installs, but um, I'm pretty much, you know, you don't need to do anything really. And there we go, it is successfully installed. So Java is now installed. Now this step that we're about to do um, is for Windows only. I'm not sure if you have to do it on Mac or, or Linux because you obviously can't do the same process because we're on Windows, but I'm pretty sure you don't need it on those operating systems. But so this next step we're going to do is for Windows users only. If you're on Mac or Linux, I'm pretty sure you can just skip this one and it will work um, as normal. Uh, when we when you actually do the setup process uh, so what we're going to do is open up a file browser here and then we're simply just going to go to um, just my PC here then what you need to do is just right click on this PC go to properties advanced system settings let's bring this over here click on, click on environment variables and then down in system variables here what we need to do is add the Java home variable. Now, by default, Java won't install this, so we need to do it manually ourselves. So go ahead, click on new, and then in here, type in Java underscore home. So all the capitals and then an underscore there between the two words. And then the value name is actually gonna be the directory of our JDK installation. So we're gonna go ahead, click browse directory here and then you need to browse for your installation. So it should be in your um, local disk. Go to Program Files, Java, and then click on the latest installation. So we installed JDK 1.8 and the update was 151. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Make sure it has JDK and not JRE. These are completely different. Oh, they're not completely different, but this one's just the normal version of Java. This one's the actual development version one of it. So click on that, click OK. Click OK again, and there we go. We now have the Java home variable. Press OK. OK, we can close all this off now. So now that we've set the Java home variable, the next step is to actually download an IDE, and the one we're going to be using is IntelliJ. Now, you can either use IntelliJ or Eclipse. However, this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up with IntelliJ. Uh, you'll have to figure out Eclipse if you're using that. Otherwise, I suggest you actually go ahead and uh, change from Eclipse to IntelliJ. Um, it will be overall a lot better, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I switched over, I used to use Eclipse quite a lot, but I switched over to IntelliJ and I just found it a whole lot better. And as well, you can actually change the key mappings 
um, to be the same as Intelli uh, to be the same as Eclipse, so the transition is very easy. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to download IntelliJ IDEA. So this is where you actually write your code in. Uh, you might already have this installed on the computer. If so, you can skip this step. But if you don't have it, go ahead and download it. There is obviously you know different versions of it it's for Mac and Linux. So go ahead click on the one that you need to download uh, and it has to be the community edition um, the ultimate one is a, a paid version and this will just give you a free trial um, this one is free and open source so you can download that and uh, you don't have to pay for it at all so download that install it um, I've already got it installed so I'm not going to show you the process of that it should be pretty straightforward uh, I'm sure you can manage it yourself to install a program but the next step uh, before you know we actually open up IntelliJ is to download Forge. So uh, the third link in the description will take you to this page. So make sure you're on the correct or the latest version of 1.12. So we are on 1.12.2 at the time of recording this tutorial. Now normally you would be clicking on Windows Installer or Installer, uh, but this time we're going to be clicking on MDK. So go ahead, click on that and download it, and uh, it should take you to this just a simple kind of. Um, add uh, redirect service so just wait for it to finish then click skip and it's going to go ahead and start downloading forge we're then going to drag that over onto the desktop here we're going to create a new folder we're going to call this um, we can just call it minecraft modding you could put this in your documents or something like that uh, for tutorial purposes i'm just putting it on my desktop and then we might just create a folder for our mod so it's going to be called tutorial mod then inside of this folder we're going to extract the contents of this zip and put it inside of it now we don't actually have to include that eclipse there because we're not using eclipse uh, as i mentioned this tutorial is um, going to be showing you how to set it up with intellij so uh, there's kind of real no point um, you know putting that in but if you are using eclipse obviously drag that folder in because um, you will need it so there we go, we've now um, you know, created our kind of modding folder. It is not set up yet and that is what we're going to do now. So what we're going to do is open up IntelliJ. Now um, yours might not open like this but I'm just going to quickly close my project here just to show you guys if you've got a brand new fresh, fresh installation, this is what it would look like. Um, so you would have something like this, otherwise in the actual program you can just go file, open and then browse, it's exactly the same. So we're going to click on open here and then what you need to do is browse for that folder we created. So mine's on the desktop, so I'm going to go to that, Minecraft modding and as you can see we've got our tutorial mod here. Now you'll notice that it has a special icon next to it, we're not going to click on here, we're going to click on the build gradle inside of it. So click on that, click OK. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can click on the actual project one, but just to be safe, um, you know, just click on the um, the build.gradle file. Then when it comes up with this screen, what we're going to do is uncheck here where it says create separate module per source set, and we're going to click here create directories for empty um, content routes automatically. Um, click here, it should just use default grader apple, leave that as it is. Uh, if we come down here to Gradle JVM, uh, make sure, you know, because we actually defined the Java home variable, um, IntelliJ has actually located that. And as you can see, it's got the uh, path to our JDK installation. It might come up automatically, but go into this list here and then go, you know, use Java home. Um, if that's not there, um, maybe you've set the environment variable wrong. Uh, in that case, I suggest you go back into your system environment variables and make sure it is correct because it should show up here. Um, if you're using Mac or Linux, it might be a little bit different. I'm not really sure because I've never used it. Um, but make sure, you know, I think it might automatically detect it straight away. But make sure, again, you have this selected and that one unselected and you should be good to go. Let's go ahead, let's press OK. And let's just make this a little bit full screen. Uh, I might come up with some, you know, firewall stuff. Obviously, give it access to your local network. Now, as you can see right now, oh, we didn't see just a second ago, but it was actually doing some, uh, just some processing there. What we're going to do now is come over to this right side. Now, if Gradle Projects here doesn't show by default, 
what you can actually do, I think it's in, um, where is it? I think it's, where is it? I think it's view, tool windows, and then gradle to bring that up on the side here. Uh, you want to open this up, go to tasks, and then open up forge gradle. And then what you're going to do is here, double click on setup decomp workspace. So double click that. And this is actually going to set up the workspace because it's not set up yet. It actually needs to, um, if you've never run this before, it needs to download all the mappings. It has to download all the assets um, because it currently doesn't have it all. Now, I've already run this once, so it's going to be really quick. But for you, it can take up to 10, 20 minutes depending on your internet connection. So I'd suggest sitting back here if you've never done this before. Go watch a video or something like that. Uh, but there we go, mine is actually already done straight away. Now, um, the game is not completely set up. Uh, what we've got to do now is actually create the runs because um, how do you know, how do we actually even run this? Um, how do we even run this? So we're going to go over to here and double click on here, Gen IntelliJ Runs. And then once that is done, you'll notice at the top here that something's changed a little bit. Uh, you'll see that we now have these two runs here, Minecraft Client and Minecraft Server, but they both have X's. What we're actually going to do is configure them. So go Edit Configurations, drop down on the application here, click on Minecraft Client, and then what we're going to do is here where it says Use Class Path of Module, you're going to click that and then click your, um, your module here, so Tutorial Mod and then click apply and it should be fixed now. Same with the Minecraft server, do the same. Click apply and press OK. And then we can now, let's click on client and then click on run here. This should actually run the game with Forge installed. Um, it doesn't have any mod in, mods installed. It's just literally, literally a blank modding environment uh, for you guys. And there we go, Minecraft is now running and as you can see, is powered by Forge, we're running 1.12, um, we've got the mods list here, so obviously that's, you know, that's installed, and we have the example mod installed, um, as always, when you actually set up these environments. So, that's how you set up a Forge environment for 1.12. This tutorial isn't about, you know, creating mods or anything like that, uh, it's just simply about how to actually set up Forge 1.12 with IntelliJ. Uh, but hopefully you guys learned how to set up this today and if you did make sure you go ahead snap that like button right now I'd appreciate it, it if you did and as well subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos I do live streams on Minecraft modding and I also do more I do tutorials like this from time to time as well so if you want to see more make sure you go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys later bye